Welcome to RSO One on One. This is a required training for all registered student organizations. Hi, I'm Chad, and I'm a part of the RSO Lead Team, and I'll be taking you through RSO One on One. This set of video trainings will go over RSO basics. This includes the tier system, the difference between the RSO Lead Team and the Student Funding Board, recognition programs, catering for events, university policies and guidelines, and leadership information. In this video, we'll go over the SI Suite. You can find student involvement on the second floor of the hub in Suite 2300. Student involvement houses the offices of the RSO Lead Team, Student Government, Fraternity and Sorority Life, and other student programming. All registered student organizations on campus are assigned a mailbox in student involvement. You do not need to apply for one, and any remaining mail that has not been picked up in your organization's box will be emptied out at the end of each semester. If you don't know your organization's mailbox number, please email rso at gmu.edu or visit student involvement. The address for student organizations is the organization's name, followed by 4400 University Drive, MSN 2D6, Fairfax, Virginia 22030. Student involvement provides lockers for student organizations to place meeting materials and equipment. All organizations must apply for a locker through the registration process on Get Connected. If chosen to obtain a locker, your organization must sign a contract before you are given full access. If your organization ever needs supplies, you can visit the Imagination Station in Student Involvement. This is a room with free craft material available to all, all RSOs. It includes butcher paper, paint, markers, crayons, die cutout letters, and more. You must sign in at the front desk in order to use the station. Remember to always clean up after yourself. This is a room that is for the use of all student organizations and it is important to be respectful. In this video, we will be covering the tier system and 25 Live. The tier system is defined by tier 1, 2, and 3. The specific requirements and benefits of each tier can be found on the Student Involvement website. The most notable differences between the tiers is the amount of funding that can be allocated to them and where they have access to schedule events. The most important benefit to being a student organization is the ability to reserve space on campus, which is done through 25 Live. Once you reserve a space on 25 Live, event services will be available to support your event. Remember that you and your organization are accountable for knowing what is permitted in each space and what is not. It is important for you to know the limitations and capabilities of each space. RSOs can only have access to event spaces that have been booked and confirmed through 25 Live. We cannot allow anyone access to a space without a formal reservation. If you need access to your room prior to your event start time, you will need to book pre-event time in 25 Live when making your reservation. Heather Crandall can assist with adding this for events that have already been booked. If you need to cancel an event, it must be done at least three business days before the date. You cannot cancel an event through 25 Live. You must email Heather Crandall at hcrandall at gmu.edu. Fines will be incurred for late cancellations, no-shows, last-minute setup changes, and room damages. Spaces must be left in the same condition in which they were found. Any excessive trash or damage to a space could result in fines or fees for your RSO. Make sure to pay attention to posted room capacities. If an event has more people in attendance than the posted space capacity, attendees will be asked to leave. Remember, your organization is accountable for knowing this information. The places that can be reserved include student center spaces such as Dewberry Hall, the Bistro, the JC Cinema, the JC Atrium, Hub Ballroom, the Patriots Lounge, as well as outdoor spaces such as North and South Plazas, Finley Claude, Merton Hall, President's Park, and parking lots. RSOs can also consider a wide variety of events. Just make sure to specify when reserving space and before planning an event, remember what your tier has access to. For example, Tier 1 organizations don't have access to reserve large event spaces and only have access to receive $1,000 per year from Student Funding Board through the application process. The event services staff is made up of the operations assistant that set up the rooms, events production, and the services concierge team. Services concierge staff members are students. They monitor the buildings, assist with technology, enforce space use guidelines, and provide great customer service. This team is on duty whenever student center buildings are open. Any last minute event changes must be approved by the services concierge staff. Clients can contact the services concierge staff at 703-993-8919. A popular event choice is showing a movie. However, you must keep copyrights in mind. 
Exemption of public purchasing rights for showing movies covers instructors or pupils, face-to-face -face teaching, nonprofit educational institution, and lawfully made copies. Most RSO shown movies will not fit into one of these categories. Advertising services through SI is free to RSOs. RSOs can utilize the cubes outside of Southside to advertise events, recruitment, and other opportunities available through your organization. You can sign up to paint a side at the Skyline front desk. Only events that have passed can be painted over. If you are advertising an event, you can paint the cube no more than two weeks before the date of your event. Student organizations are also eligible to reserve the George Mason statue on the South Plaza to decorate. The process to reserve the statue is different from reserving the space around the statue. If you are interested in reserving the statue, please visit the University Life Suite in Sub 1, room 4211, during normal university business hours. You are highly encouraged to reserve the statue as early as you possibly can. Kiosks can also be booked in order to table for things like fundraising, recruitment, or event awareness. The forms to request these, as well as their guidelines, can be found on the advertising page of the Student Center's site, along with that of other advertising methods such as hanging up flyers.